For too long, video game fans have been treated to dismal and disappointing sequels. And Assassin's Creed Unity may or may not be part of that list. But alas, the indie games of 2014 have spoken and delivered sequels that right the wrong and truly live up to the hype. I see the signs and omens. As the tide rises, we must unite to save Towerfall. The young prince of the desert, blinded by his quest... Relinquished from its Ooyar exclusivity, Towerfall was reworked and re-released this year as Towerfall Ascension for the PS4 and PC. There were some helpful new features such as the 1-2 to two player quest mode, 50 more maps, new power-ups and 4 new archers. But ultimately, the greatest thing about this sequel was that its fantastic party combat games, which are pretty much Smash Bros with archery, were brought to more accessible platforms and to such more people. And there's still more to come with the last installment of Towerfall, Towerfall Dark World, set to come out early next year. The 2014 release of Book 1 Reborn marked the start of the Dreamfall chapters and the first entry in the longest journey series in 8 years. Set 10 years after the last entry in the saga, Book 1 Reborn rewarded patient fans with the excellent writing, great characters and decision based narrative gameplay that they would come to know and love. It's only the start however, as there are 4 more books in the Dreamfall chapters and they are all included in the purchase price as free future downloads. Rebirth was our number one indie game of November, and there isn't much more to say about it than what we did in that video. Rebirth is a grossly addictive roguelike everyone loves remastered. It's that simple. Edmund McMillan got help from the Color Sync and reimagined the game with the pixel graphics and non flash engine he always intended it to have. Tears, Who, and Blasphemous 2. Rebirth is Isaac at its best. With the help of indie games, we've righted the wrongs of sequels and come to the end of another day of our 8 days of Christmas. We'll see you guys tomorrow for day 7 in which we'll show you the best multiplayer indie games we played this year. But today, that right... Oh, but because... But the indie games have broken. They have righted this wrong with some, with some sequels that truly meet the expectations. And it's right, yeah. Woo! But alas, no...